<coughs> Good morning, YouTubers. Sawmill Bell 70 here. I'm down here with the sawmill shed in the shop, and I still have a lot more cleaning to do, and I'm, you know, going to bring that to you. Uh, I did want to say before I forget, the last video that I put out, the one before this one, there was a section somehow, I don't know if I messed up or the computer messed up or whatever, but it didn't show me cutting that tree down. It, uh, it just showed me cleaning it up after it was down. So I'm going to put that in this video. It's not going to make probably any sense in this video, but if you've seen the, the one before that, it will. So anyway, I, I wanted to bring that to you because I used the pull saw for that. And uh, I wanted to show you how it worked. But for some reason it didn't get in there, so I don't know why. But anyway, what I'm going to do this morning, and by the way, it's a beautiful, beautiful spring morning. Uh, it's not chilly, actually. It's just comfortable. I'm thinking it's probably in the, the high 60s. And, uh, you know, just a beautiful day. It's going to be sunny all day. But here's what I'm going to try to clean up a little bit. All this, all these weeds around here. Now, I might end up, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get to it today, because I want to go around the back and uh, start cleaning that. But I got these trees here to cut down. I got lumber laying here that's under some tin and some rubber there. And I want to move that out of there and clean all this up. I just got a lot of clean up to do before winter. Uh, because once the snow starts to fly, you know, you don't know where this stuff's at and you start plowing and you start breaking things up. So, and my intention is to take this wood pile on this trailer and get it off of there. I just don't know what I want to do with the lumber yet. So, that's kind of in the air yet. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, let me get at this. And like I always say, I hope I don't run into any critters. I do have my squirt can in my back pocket, which you usually see for self-protection. Not that it would help, but it would sure make me feel better just knowing I have it. So I'll bring you along when I start doing something.
Alright. That went well. Uh, now I gotta clean it up. I'll bring the other saw up for that. Not easy to hold that saw up. Boy, it cut good. I think maybe, maybe I'll just take the street down. I don't know. I could reach in there and just cut that right there. Let it just drop it. Get it out of here. Let's see what we got here. Let's see, it's that tree right there. I, don't, I can't even see it in there. Uh, I don't know where to be the best place to get it. Uh, let me see if I can get it back here. I know I should notch it, but I'm not. I wouldn't have done that with a handsaw. And uh, uh, by the way, I'm using my my older chainsaw. Oh, chainsaw! Yeah, there. I'm I'm using my older weed trimmer, the Echo. It's a G2000. If anybody wants to know, but and then I got this on here. I got the chain because we got some heavy stuff in here, and the the string trimmer just would not hold up. It would take. It would break the string off just about immediately, and I'd get nowhere, so I'm going with this. It's, I mean, I used it in the front here, and it seemed to work fine, so we'll just keep going with it.
Okay. So, I've got uh, more to do back here, but I don't think today it's getting kind of warm. I'm getting kind of wore out and I'm getting hungry. It's about noon time. So I got But I got all this to do yet. I'll do that in my next video. Uh, I uh, don't know, oh, I don't know, I'm too tired to even think or talk, uh, but anyway, that will do it for this video, and uh, you can see what, what I did here, I cleaned the back out here, and uh, looks pretty good, and I'll show you around the front again when I get out there, but uh, Alright, uh, I didn't get this on video, but there's a lot I didn't get and I didn't record, so I did more than what you think I did, but anyway, I cleaned this up here, that was all weed and high weeds, got that trimmed down, and then we'll come up here, uh, on the other side of the burn, that was high with weeds, I cut that down, and then front of the shop and I just showed you the back of the shop and this is the front of course you can see the garage door and uh, 
and I got quite a, I got quite a bit done here. Cut some trees down here. Of course, poplar. And uh, and this is what I'm going to do on my next video. I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow or when. But oh, that, that's high. I do have a pile there that has to be burnt. So, anyway, appreciate everybody coming along. And, uh, please, uh, like and subscribe. And, uh, I know, I know it's not great videos. I'm just trying to bring you some content. Trying to let people know that I'm still around anyway. Uh, and I, you know, I, I promise it's going to get better, but uh, actually, I'm waiting for the weather to change more than anything uh, because of the bees. So, anyway, appreciate you watching. Catch you all in the next video. Have a great day.